today at Trump Tower. Former Vice President Al Gore sitting down with the president-elect and Ivanka Trump to talk about Gore's signature issue, climate change, something Trump has called a hoax. Uh, the bulk of the time was with uh, President-elect Donald Trump. Uh, I, I found it an, an extremely interesting conversation uh, and uh, to be continued. The president-elect also reaching out to a former rival, picking Dr. Ben Carson as Secretary of Housing and Urban Development. We're excited to have Dr. Carson uh, as our uh, intended nominee uh, for uh, housing and urban development. We're looking forward to another very productive week in the transition that's setting a historic pace. Carson, a neurosurgeon, lacked significant well, experience in housing sure, and urban gentlemen. development. During the primary, he criticized housing regulations to address segregation in public housing. This is what you see in communist countries where they have so many regulations encircling every aspect of your life that if you don't agree with them, all they have to do is pull the noose. And this is what we've got now. As one cabinet selection moves forward, another seems to be taking a step back. Trump is now expanding his search for a secretary of state after narrowing his list to four contenders last week. Transition sources now say former Utah governor and ambassador to China, John Huntsman, is in the mix. As is ExxonMobil CEO Rex Tillerson and West Virginia Democratic Senator Joe Manchin, according to the New York Times. Former CIA Director David Petraeus, also still in the running, expressing regret for mishandling classified information. I apologize for it. I paid a very heavy price for it, and I've learned from it. Uh, and again, they'll have to factor that in, and also obviously 38 and a half years of, of otherwise uh, fairly, in some cases, unique service to our country in uniform and at the CIA. Meantime, the president-elect's use of Twitter grabbing the attention of Saturday Night Live. Kellyanne, I just retweeted the best tweet. I mean, wow, what a great, smart tweet. We're in a security briefing. I know, but this could not wait. Trump slamming the show as unwatchable, totally biased, not funny, and the Baldwin impersonation just can't get any worse. Sad and blasting the media on Twitter today, saying, quote, if the press would cover me accurately and honorably, I would have far less reason to tweet. Mike Pence defending another Trump tweet in which he claimed that millions of illegal votes were cast in the presidential election. It's his right to express his opinion as the president-elect of the United States. I think one of the things that's refreshing about our president-elect 